light bulb, right? So the very first thing I'm going to do here is to produce an horizontal line. Okay. So after producing that horizontal line, I'm going to produce the vertical line, right? So reducing this vertical line, right? What do you down to here? Okay. okay, so if we look at the dimension of the head of the yeah, the span here is over this 21. Okay, so in this area, I'm going to pick my 21. Okay. And I'm going to draw my mark of 21. I'm going to draw it vertically also. I will draw it vertically, which is what I'm doing right now. Okay, the height from the top to the first demarcation is what is 15. I'm going to also measure that now. Okay. So this is mark 15. And I'm going to draw an horizontal line across it also. Okay. And this is the horizontal line. Right? So from that point also, I'm going to pick a mark of 3. A mark of 3 mm. Okay, which is this mark of 3 mm and also from that point 3 I measure the mark of, the mark of 6 mm so 3.6 3, 3 plus is what is 9 which is this area then I'm going to project them also horizontally I'm projecting them horizontally also which is this and this all right I haven't done that I'm going to take it out of uh, the area which I actually did which is from here um, okay, we will take note that the span at the bottom here is 37. So I'm going to figure out my width of 37 from any point here. All right. Okay, so the distance from this area to this area is what is 37. All right. So after getting that, I'm going to pick a distance also on this edge, on this area, a distance of what width of 25 on this plane here. All right. So the distance from here to here is what is 25. So I haven't done that. So I'm going to pick my ruler and draw. Yeah. Draw an inclined line here. Alright. So that mark of 25 from the diameter of 21. Alright. So after doing that, I'm going to join this one right here. Okay. After joining it right here, I'm going to pull this area down here. Okay. To that mark of width of 37. Alright. Okay, so after doing that, I'm going to pick my compass. And measure. I'm going to pick my compass and measure radius 9 mm. Okay, okay so, so with our radius 9, placing it at the end of the mark 37, I'm going to strike an arc here this way. So from the point of intersection where the arc touches the straight line, I'm going to what? strike another arc inwards this way. All right. So I'm repeating the same trick at the other end here with radius 9. Strike an arc here. And wherever the arc touches from here, I would uh, strike another arc. So after doing that, I'm going to pick my T square, slide it to the point here, this area here, right? Yeah. So I want to draw a straight line. Okay. So wherever uh, the straight line intersects with the arc we draw in what's earlier on, we place our compass there with that same radius what radius nine and what and draw the arc that intersect that connect it to the top here, all right. Which is what I did just now over there. Then I'm going to repeat the same thing. Okay, so I haven't done that. The distance from the midpoint here, this area here, downward is, what is, is 53. 53. So I'm going to pick my ruler and measure this length of what? Length of 53 downward. Okay. Okay, that is my mark 53. All right. And I'm going to draw an horizontal line there. Yeah. Okay, so from this midpoint now, I'm going to pick my compass, pick my compass from this midpoint and measure radius what? Draw an arc of radius 37, yeah, a circle of radius 37 from this midpoint here. Okay, after doing that, the radius of the arc joining this point to this circle is 75. So we are applying the principle of external tangency there. Okay, so the radius from the midpoint here to draw this arc is what is 9. So 9 plus 75, that's what that is 84. So pick your compass, measure 84 with your compass and place it at the midpoint of 9 here, of radius 9 here, and strike an arc. Do the same thing for this right hand side and also towards this left hand side, all right? Okay. Okay, after doing that, so 75 plus 37, that's what that is 112. So pick your compass and measure 112 mm. So you place it at the center of the circle of 37, then 
draw an arc which is going to intersect this arc and this arc here. All right. Okay, leave it here and leave it here. So our point of intersections are we we are right here and we and right here. So after getting the point of intersections, all I need to do is pick my compass and measure radius 75 with my compass. Then from this point of intersection, I'm going to draw the arc which is going to join this smaller arc here to this bigger arc. Radius 75, measure radius 75. Okay, I'm doing the same thing on the other side here. Yeah, I can now thicken this area out. And don't forget to join this point together, right? Okay. So that is the construction of the light bulb using the principle of tangency. Ensure you subscribe to this channel and also invite to your friends who might be in need of it. Thank you.